Hello and welcome back. So in the previous video, we learned about selector factories and we refactored to not to use the filtered uh, user slice. So in today's video, we are going to further uh, extend our knowledge about the create API. Also, let's see, uh, this is still not working. If I uh, apply all this or maybe change the filters, it's doing nothing. Uh, while in the background, we are actually making the network request. Uh, there is a small change which I did over here. Uh, I change within the selector factory. I change the filter criteria a little bit. If the filter criteria is there, then only do this filtering. Otherwise, always return the true. Okay. This is just a small uh, JavaScript uh, filter fix I did. The nothing related to the Redux. Uh, just the filtering part. But even so, this is still not working. The reason for that is, uh, let me reload. Like let me literally reload keep reloading this it is always returning me just this one user even though uh, in the users i have all these things so if you notice i'm reloading all this right but it is not making multiple network requests uh, that's the beauty of uh, this redux toolkit and you'll also notice in the back end i do have users but it is not working so it is caching all the network requests. Uh, so it is caching based on the request parameters that we are sending. And hence it is just returning you the cached data. Okay, so to fix all this, the solution is tags. Yes. So we can simply tag each one of the requests and invalidate them based on our criteria. So I'm going to add a, a tag over here called uh, provided provides tag and it is for for users i'm just going to call it users okay but you will notice it is not allowing me to add this tag the reason for that is you have to specify uh, into the users api what all tags are allowed so in our case i'm allowing users as well and i'm allowing settings okay and uh, for settings get i'm going to add uh, provide tag settings let's see if this is working okay. this is still not working by the way right so it's not working uh, it is lit working but there was a kind of like a multiple re reloads the correct way to do it is whenever you set filter criteria basically whenever we hit this apply button we need to invalidate the cache so we are going to invalidate the cache which is assigned to settings and as well as the users so we are invalidating the this two cache uh, stores whenever we call this set filter criteria and now uh, when i hit let's just select everything who are based in india so we get back this new data let's select who are all in switzerland we get back the new data let's select uh, users from mumbai we get back the data so that's it this is working really well okay okay all right so the next part which i would love to do is refactor the old code uh, starting with deleting the <laughs> filtered slides we are not even actually we are not even using this uh, i'm going to delete this okay and Let's see if this is still working. Uh, yes, we need to remove it from the store. Okay, perfect. It is still working. And check. Yeah, it is still working. And let's see, are we, is anybody else is using these types? Yes, so our uh, selectors uh, are using it. Uh, if you feel really, hyped refactor this move it closer to the uh, move it closer to the uh, users api okay uh, for now this is okay and the next refactoring uh, probably is the most important one move it to the uh, uh, react hooks because i don't like to wrangle all this uh, around because to be able to use this selector uh, select filtered users there has to be this query made somewhere in your application but to be sure we are going to move this to a hook uh, i'm just simply going to create that hook within the users i'm going to call it uh, use 
filtered users dot ts okay export const use filtered users all right and i'm simply going to import all this okay and the data that we receive we are going to return that okay so the return type over here is user okay i think i'm just going to call it as an object users perfect i think this is good and let's just uh, consume this hook into our application now and go back to the users delete all this the only thing which we need is uh, const is equal to use filtered users hook okay and we are going to remove all the other unused uh, imports we get back users and let's just consume those users okay let's see if everything is still working yes it is working fine let's uh, filter users from mumbai perfect select users from switzerland perfect it is working fine okay so I think that's it so far right and uh, anything else to be refactored okay i think that's it from this video in the next video when we come back we are going to write test for all of our code uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and please please share these videos as much as you can thanks for watching bye bye